In this video we're going to be taking a look at another strategy that you can use whenever you're dividing using two-digit divisors. Now the essential question we're going to be taking a look at is how can you use partial quotients to divide by two-digit divisors. It is important that you have your Go Math book out, turn to page 73, your math journal, and also a pencil. Now we have the problem on page 73 and let's take a look at it. It says people in the United States eat about 23 pounds of pizza per person every year. Glad it's not every day. If you ate that much pizza each year, how many years would it take you to eat 775 pounds of pizza? Just a wonderful thought. Okay, now the first thing we need to do is we need to figure out what we're trying to solve. Okay, and we know you can see on the upper right hand corner of that box rewrite in one sentence the problem you're asked to solve and I want you to write how many groups of 23 can be made from 75 I'm sorry 775 so how many groups of 23 can be made from 775 that's what that's what we're trying to find okay now we have the problem 775 pounds of pizza divided by 23 pounds of pizza. We need to figure out how many years it's going to take us to get that wonderful mark of 775. Okay, so we can see step one, and whenever we're taking a look at partial quotients, we want to subtract multiples of the, of the divider from the dividend until the remaining number is less than the multiple. Okay, the easiest part, partial quotients to use are multiples of 10. Okay, so you can see that 23 I'm sorry, yeah, 23 times 10, okay, now that's going to give us 230, so you would write 230 right underneath the 775, and then you subtract 230 from 775, that gives you 454. Now we know we just multiplied 23 times 10, that gave us 230, 230 is still less, less than 545, so we can do the same thing again. 10 times 230, I'm sorry, 10 times 23 going to give us 230. We write that partial quotient off to the right. We write the 230 underneath the 545. We subtract 315 is what we get. Okay, we know 230 is still less than 315, so we can keep going, multiplying that divisor by 10, again, giving us 230. Now we come to 85. Okay, now that we come to this, we want to, we need to subtract smaller multiples of the divisor until the remaining number is less than the divisor, then add the partial quotients to find the quotient. Okay, so now that we've exhausted the 10, okay, so this actually represents 30 right now. We're still not finished though because we still have some, some part of our um, dividend still left. Okay, so we know we need to think about 23 can go to 85. How many times without going over? What's an easy way to maybe figure that out? Okay, we're just going to try 2 for right now. We're not really sure. Okay, so 2 times 23 is going to give us 46. Okay, and then after that, we have 39 still left over. Okay, now for the next partial quotient, we know 2 is not going to work because it's greater than, it's going to be greater than 39, so we're just going to try 1, 1 times 23. Okay, now we have, re, re, remain, we have 16 left over. Now once this number right here that we subtract is less than our divisor, that means that's going to be our remainder. Okay? So what we do now is we add all of our partial quotients up off to the right. Okay, 10 plus 10 plus 10 give us 30, plus 2 is 32, plus another one is going to give us 33. So this number right here is our dividend. This number right here is our remainder. So 775 divided by 23 is 33 with a remainder of 16. So it would take you more than 33 years to eat 775 pounds of pizza if you are the average American. Okay, if you eat a little bit more, it may take you a little bit of less time. Okay, so you can see the partial quotients is what we use in order to get that answer. Okay, let's take a look at this problem on page 74. 
It says, Miles is helping his father with a supply order for his pizza shop. For next week, the shop will need 1,450 ounces of mozzarella cheese. Each package of cheese weighs 32 ounces. Complete Miles' work to find how many packages of mozzarella cheese he needs to order. Okay, so we'll do this together. So we have 1,450 divided by 32. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we have 1,450, okay, as our original number. So we have 32 as our divisor. So we're going to multiply 32 times 10, okay, in order you know keep going until we cannot do that anymore that's the easiest way to figure it figure it out now whenever you multiply your divisor that's the number that's going to be part of your partial quotient okay so we have 10 times 32 gives us 320 we subtract we have 1130 okay we know that's still greater than 320 so we're going to multiply that 32 times 10 again since we multiplied the 32 times 10, that's going to be our partial quotient again, giving us 320. We subtract, we have 810. We can still multiply that 32 times 10, going to give us 320. So we'll keep doing that until we get a number less than 320. Subtract, that gives us 490. Then we can see 490 is greater than 320. We can multiply that 32 times 10 again that's still going to be part of our partial quotient now we have the number 170 we need to think about 170 okay we know that it's less than 320 so we cannot use that 10 anymore all right so we know it's pretty close to being maybe we think about maybe half of um, 320 that 170 pretty close so we can multiply it by 5 Okay, now we have 32 times 5. It's going to give me 160. Okay, now we have 170 minus 160. We have the number 10. Now, since our number here that we subtract, that we have our answer here on the left-hand side, since that is less than my divisor, that means it's going to be my remainder. If it were equal to my divisor or greater, we still keep going. But since it's less than my divisor, that means that is going to be our remainder. Every number right here on the right-hand side or that we multiplied our divisor by, that's going to be our partial quotient. So we add these together. 10, 20, 30, 40 plus 5 is going to give us 45. And our remainder is right here, which is 10. Okay, so he needs to order 46, actually, packages of mozzarella cheese, okay? And, and you, it's important to know that since we have a remainder within a problem like this, okay, you can't just have a remainder of 10 left over. You have to order a whole nother package, so representing 46 packages of mozzarella cheese. Okay, at the bottom of page 74, I know it says use different partial quotients to solve the problem above. And you don't always have to use 10. If you want to use 20 or whatever number you're comfortable with, that's fine. Just remember you need to keep subtracting with your product that you found, 20 times 32, for example. And then keep going until the bottom number here is less than your divisor. So 45, remainder of 10, still the same answer. I just use a different partial quotient. And I do want you to write this down and copy that down right in your Go Math book on page 74. Okay, let's look at, take a look at 648 divided by 18. Okay, so what we want to do, let's just keep using the number 10. So if we take 10 times 18, that's going to give us 180. Let's write this down. And then the next thing we do, we subtract. That's 8. We need to regroup. Okay, so that's 468. Multiply that 18 times 10 again. That's going to give me 180 again. All right, we'll write the 10 off to the side here for our partial quotients. Okay, giving me 180 again.
Okay, you can see this number is still greater than 180, so we can multiply that 18 again by my 180. Then remember, when you're multiplying by whatever partial quotient you're using, you're writing it off to the side so you can keep track of it. Okay, so for 288, 180 again. Okay, now 100, 108 is obviously left less than 180, so we're going to use 5 as my partial quotient. 5 times 18 is going to give me 90. Okay, so write 5 over here. That's going to give me 90. And we'll subtract. Okay, this is 18. Okay, pretty simple there. 1 times 18 is going to give me 18 right on the dot. So right 1 here and then I'm going to have to just barely squeeze this in. It's going to be 0. Sorry about that. Then from here we add all of our partial quotients up. 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 5 plus 1 is going to give me 36. Okay, so we can see that 648 divided by 18 will give me 36. Okay, we have 584 divided by 73. Now it's really important that you take a look at that 73. You know if you multiply it by 10, it's going to give you 730, which is greater than the dividend. So you're not going to be able to use 10 for this one. Just give you a little hint on that. Okay, so I want you to work this problem out. And when you're finished, you can press play. I will have the answer for you. You may use a different partial quotient than me, okay? But it is important that you have the correct answer. So I want you to pause the video now. Okay, I have the answer of 8. Okay, 70, 584 divided by 73 is 8. I used a partial quotient of 5 and then 3. Added my two partial quotients together, giving me 8. Okay, I want you to work through this problem all by yourself. When you're finished, you can press play and I will have the answer for you. So pause the video now. Okay, you should have the answer of 35 with the remainder of 46. Make sure your partial quotients, you add them together. And remember that 46, or that final number, has to be less than that divisor. It doesn't have to be less than the quotient, has to be less than the divisor. So 35, remainder of 46. Okay, take a look at this problem and I want you to work through it. You'll need to do these obviously in your math journal. When you're finished you can press play and I will have the answer for you. So pause the video now. Okay, here's the answer for you. You can see I started with 20 and why did I start with 20? Because I know 820 is, if I were to multiply that divisor by 10, 820 is a lot less than 2,964. So I started out with 20. Okay, it does not matter that types of partial quotients you use okay however it does matter that you follow the process you stop when this bottom number is less than your divisor okay and then you add all the partial quotients together giving you 36 remainder of 12. okay let's take a look at this test prep problem on the bottom of page 76 and i want you to solve this using partial quotients in your math journal when you're finished you can press play i will have the answer for you so pause the video now Okay, the answer is letter B, I'm sorry, letter D, 14. Okay, taking a look at our essential question, how can you use partial quotients to divide by two-digit divisors? You can see I have the answer right there on the video. I want you to copy that down in your math journal, and this concludes our video on partial quotients. If you have any questions about this concept, please come and see me.